couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? Hello everyone, welcome to the Sanchez Official. For this episode, let us take you to one of the most scenic drives in the world known as the 17 Mile Drive. This is a road that passes through Pebble Beach and Pacific Grove on the Monterey Peninsula, scattered with gorgeous houses and stellar ocean views. We hope you watch the video from start to finish and immerse yourself in the wonders of this seaside gem. We are giving you a complete scenic tour of the famous 17 mile drive and learn about iconic landmarks like Spanish Bay, Restless Sea, Fanshell Overlook, and the famous Lone Cypress. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all The first stop of this tour is called Shepherd's Knoll This spot offers a great view of the Monterey Bay from above This was named after local railroad man Abraham D. Shepherd The second stop is called Huckleberry Hill. On a clear day from this lookout, you will see Santa Cruz across the bay while getting a great view of Huckleberry Field Hills. on the 17 mile drive is the Spanish Bay and the first by the ocean. This is a lovely white sand beach that's a great place for a picnic or a stroll on the boardwalk trail. It is also popular with local surfers and residents out walking. In the late 1700s, the Spanish camped here while searching for Monterey Bay.
Restless Sea is the fourth stop in 17-mile drive. As the name suggests, the sea is very turbulent at this point, the ocean constantly crashing into the big rocks. This stop is one of our personal favorites because it has a beautiful view and was quite relaxing. The fifth stop is Point Joe. Its coastline is made of granite rocks which gives a rugged look. Looking out, you can see crashing waves and rough seas caused by submerged rocks. Often mistaken for the Mount of Monterey Bay, Point Joe was once the scene of numerous shipwrecks. China Rock is situated at stop number 6 on 17 Mile Drive. Tourists can have a view of the Pacific Ocean. This place was known for a small Chinese fishing village in the 1800s.
the Bird Rock is the seventh stop on 17 Mile Drive. Tourists can see many seabirds and sea lions as they come and go from the ocean. This turnout features a restroom and picnic benches, making it a great place for a pit stop. Rock is a white sand beach and it is the eighth stop on the 17 mile drive. Stop by the secluded beach at the mouth of Seal Rock Creek for a picnic or a walk. Just like Bird Rock, this is also covered with many seals and birds. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it, you gotta go get it for yourself. Cause I can see your eyes. The ninth stop on the 17 mile drive is Fan Shell Overlook. This is one of the most beautiful viewpoints because it offers incredible panoramas looking into Spanish Bay and towards Spyglass Hill. This lovely stretch of the beach is a must see stop along 17 mile drive. Cypress Point Lookout is the 10th stop on the 17-mile drive tour. This is the best place to catch a sunset as well as a good view of a neighborhood of mansions built during the Roaring Twenties.
The 11th stop on the 17 mile drive tour is called Crocker Grove. This grove is home to some of the largest and oldest Monterey cypress trees in existence. It is named after Charles Crocker, the man behind the luxurious Hotel Del Monte in Monterey, as well as the original 17 mile drive in 1881. One of the most famous and photographed trees in the world, the 12th stop is the Lone Cypress. The Lone Cypress has prevailed on its rocky perch for over 250 years. Known as the Midway Point on the original 17 mile drive, this iconic tree has been the living symbol of Pebble Beach Resorts since its founding in 1919. This stop can get pretty crowded, but we were fortunate to get a good parking spot to witness this iconic background. Through a phone in the night No, I'm here by your side So tell me where are you now When your head is in the clouds I wanna find out now Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we are now All I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm running with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster You mess up with my head I'm ending up so clueless What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you want me Ghost Trees at Pescadero Point is the 13th stop. With twisted trunks worn bare by coastal winds and sun, this Monterey Cypress mark a legendary surf spot known as Ghost Trees. With the right conditions, waves can reach heights of 50 feet before crashing into the rocky point.
located at the heart of the 17-mile drive across from the lodge, the Pebble Beach Visitor Center is the 14th stop. The Visitor Center is a great place to learn more about the rich history of Pebble Beach. It also features restrooms, picnic benches, and a market deli making it an excellent stop along your route. Unanimously rated as the number one public course in the U.S., stop number 15 is Pebble Beach Golf Links. This place is steeped in history, with nine holes hugging the Pacific Ocean, including two of the most famous finishing holes in golf. No public course in the country has such prestigious major championship pedigree as the Pebble Beach.
stop on the 17-mile drive is Pebble Beach Equestrian Center, which was opened five years after Pebble Beach Golf Links in 1924. This center offers guide tours through its 27 miles of trails within the Del Monte Forest. Between Carmel and Highway 1 gates, you will find the final stop on the 17-mile drive called Ford Meadow, named after Robert Ford, a prominent resident and generous donor to the Del Monte Forest Conservancy. This meadow was dedicated to his memory. <music> 